A News 5 crime update on a homicide in Mobile yesterday. Police have identified the man shot and killed on Main Street in Trinity Gardens. He is 22-year-old Jamartez Tucker. Police say someone shot him in the chest as he rode his bicycle. He died at the hospital. In all, Four shootings happened in Mobile yesterday. Three people injured, one person dead. Public Safety Director Lawrence Petit says two of those shootings are connected. Dana Winter joins us live from outside police headquarters. And Dana, he says an increase in violence is a trend not just in Mobile, but also the state. He does, Roseanne. He says he learned that at an FBI national state conference this week, but he says bringing violent crime down takes the whole community. At least three shootings within three hours on Thursday. The first on Main Street, the second at Belfast and Rotterdam, the third on Duval Street. Public Safety Director Lawrence Batiste believes the shooting at Belfast and Rotterdam is connected to the one on Duval. Some type of retaliatory behavior between the two incidents. Batiste says it's unclear if these shootings have anything to do with the one on Main Street. Still trying to identify really what actually took place in that particular shooting. But he says solving cases can be difficult when people do not want to tell officers what they know. The neighbors may not share information because they don't feel like they can be protected because, you know, when the police leave, the bad guys still live in their neighborhoods. But if they don't say something about who the bad guys are, we'll never get those bad guys off the street. Uh, we'll never be able to provide them the level of safety that they deserve simply because they're not cooperating and sharing information with us to help keep them safe. Batiste says you can help by installing a camera and giving the department uh, actually by joining shield, which gives the department access to home surveillance video of crime. Now, after we first showed you this story at six o'clock tonight, a local pastor reached out to us, showing us how his congregation is taking a stand against this violent crime. Don't shoot. Let's talk. The other one says uh, before you shoot, think and pray and the opposite side say God is speaking. Thou shalt not kill. Sometimes people go to church looking for a sign, so Pastor Frederick Thompson puts some up. We can't just rely on the police force to do everything. There's some things that we as the community and as the church can do to try to help better our streets here in Mobile. Along with the signs near Tabernacle Baptist Church, members of the congregation do street walks where they chant while walking with signs in the area. Saying uh, like, we want to live, we want you to live. We want to live. We want you to live. And we have great participation when we walk through the community uh, and do this. Thompson realizes the signs may not reach everyone, but he says changing even a single mind makes a big difference. If it just helped one somebody, then the signs were worth investing in and put it out in this community. If you go down the avenue, you'll see them all down the avenue. You'll see them all down in the bottom. Thompson says this church has ordered more signs and they plan on putting them out. Reporting live outside Mobile Police Headquarters, I'm Dana Winter for WKRG News 5.